Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Since we know that every number cannot be divided by every other number exactly. Also, it is difficult to find whether the number is divisible by another number or not. So for this we will do test of divisibility. So let's get started with the divisibility test of 2. So the rules for divisibility of 2 is if the number is an even number or if the digits in 1's place is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 then the number is divisible by 2. Let's discuss it with an example. So here is a number 4376. So look at it, it's ones place. So in its ones place there is 6 and this number is an even number. So this number is divisible by 2. Let us take one more example. 39842. Again this is an even number or we can say that number in its ones place is 2. So again this number is divisible by 2. Two. So the rule for divisibility by 2 is that number should be an even number or digit in the ones place of the given number must be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Then the given number is divisible by 2. So we can apply this rule for large number also. Now let's discuss the divisibility by 3. So for divisibility by 3, if the sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. So we can understand this statement with an example. Suppose we have a number 78. So we will add its digits 7 plus 8 which is equal to 15. And we know that 15 is divisible by 3. So we can say that 78 is also divisible by 3. One more example, a very large number, 2862. We again add its digits and the sum is equal to 18. So we can say that 18 is divisible by 3. Hence, the number 2862 is also divisible by 3. So it is very easy to check whether the number is divisible by 3 or not by adding its digits. Next is divisibility by 4. And the rule for divisibility by 4 is if the last two digits of the number are divisible by 4, then the complete number is divisible by 4. So again, we can understand the statement by the uh, an example. So here is an example for you. If you look at the number 528, take the last two digits, that is 28. Since 28 is divisible by 4, then the whole number that is 528 is divisible by 4. Let's take one more example. 4716. Again the last two digits. 16. 16 is divisible by 4. Then the whole number is divisible by 4. So again it is very easy for large numbers to check whether they are divisible by 4 or not just looking at the last two digits of the given number. Now next is divisibility by 5 and the rule for divisibility by 5 is very easy. If the digit at one's place of the given number is 0 or 5 then the complete number is divisible by 5. For example here are some numbers if you look at their one's places they are either 5 or 0. So we can say that the whole numbers are divisible by 5 because digits in their ones places are either 0 or 5. So it is very easy to check whether the number is divisible by 5 or not by observing its digit at in ones place. Now rule for divisibility by 6. And the rule for divisibility by 6 is if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 then the number is divisible by 6. 
So for this, uh, let us take an example. Suppose we have a number 642 and this number 642 is an even number, so it is divisible by 2. Also, if we add 6 plus 4 plus 2, the sum is 12. So again, this number is divisible by 3. So if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the number is divisible by 6 also. One more example is there. 5472. So again, this number is an even number. So it is divisible by 2. Let's add its digits. 5, 4, 7 and 2. And the sum is equal to 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. Hence, the number is divisible by 3 also. So we can say that this number 5472 is divisible by both 2 and 3. Hence, the number is divisible by 6. So this is the first part of our divisibility rules. And now it's our practice time. So let us check the divisibility rule for few numbers. So there is a table in front of you. Let's discuss the divisibility of these numbers. So the first number is 246. Since 246 is an even number, so it is divisible by 2. Now let's add the digits to check the divisibility of 3. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. So 12 is divisible by 3. So 246 will also be divisible by 3. Now to check the divisibility by 4, let's take the last two digits, 46. And 46 is not divisible by 4. So the number is not divisible by 4. Now for 5, since it is not divisible by 5 because digit at one's place is neither 5 nor 0. Now to check the divisibility by 6. Uh, since we know that the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. So it is also divisible by 6. Now let's take the second number 720. So 720 is an even number. So it is divisible by 2. Let us take whether it is divisible by 3 or not. So let's add the digits 7 plus 2, 9 plus 0, 9. So 9 is divisible by 3. So 720 is also divisible by 3. Now is it divisible by 4? So let's take the last two digits and the number is 20. And 20 is divisible by 4. So 720 is also divisible by 4. Divisible by 5, uh, 720. Digit in one's place is 0. And uh, 0 means it is divisible by 5. And divisible by 6. So again the number 720 is divisible by both 2 and 3. So this number is again divisible by 6 also. So the remaining two parts are for your practice. So you will write whether the number are divisible by the given numbers in my comment box. And in this video, we learnt about divisibility rule for 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So that's all from my side. Keep practicing. Thank you and have a nice day.